This exhibition, Jungle Memory, is a result of um, the last two or three years of my research. I've been visiting different forests and I've been looking at how to plant trees, trees in general, um, the culture of tree planting, and also I've been experimenting with artificial intelligence and trying to find out about its vision onto what we commonly would understand as being nature. In the main part of the gallery, there's a two-part artwork, uh, one of which is nine tree trunks standing in the room and one video work. The nine tree trunks are dead trees from the city forest of Goslan, which, has been, uh, which are displaying um, the patterns of the bark beetle, one of the reasons why these trees are, uh, died. The other part of the installation is uh, showing a neural network that's been trained um, on a picture archive that I took in the city forest of Goslar and the National Park Harz uh, during the summer. I fed about 10,000 pictures into the neural network and had it statistically analyzed this, this archive. Now it's actually capable of creating forest pictures by itself and in the exhibition this process of forest creation through an artificial intelligence is on display. The sound in the space is a choir piece composed by Louis McGuire. This one is then itself inspired by Abschied vom Walde by Mendelssohn and played back slowly so that it becomes abstract. Through the jungle memory images I've been researching onto the AI's vision, onto what we commonly understand as being nature or forests, and to reinterpret the landscape painting tradition. The Calamity video work, authored together with Paul Roves, shows the present state of the region of the Hearts forests, and it shows how Calamity and the bark beetle Droughts and storms are affecting the present shape of this forest. So the work contains quotations from the history of uh, cultivating forests and uh, tree planting throughout um, the last 1,000 years. And it's also quoting on um, this dying utopia of reforestation um, after Second World War in Germany. The planting pattern for Wald for Morgen is a collaboration with uh, Gertrude and, and Jan Gemse in Goslar. Uh, the idea is to create a godfather's forest for 9,000 school kids in Goslar. And the trees will be organized in a spiral pattern, which will enable the kids to relocate the tree that they planted. One of the um, key focus um, within the production time of this exhibition has been that uh, also all materials which are used um, have a future design concept um, and will be reusable after this exhibition. <laughs>